I'm finally back in town and I have gotten to the place where we are picking up our puppy and um, the fabulous owners that we are adopting it from are um, going to be meeting up with me and I get to take him home. Um, I'm pretty excited about it so stay tuned for lots of adventures with our new little guy and finding out what his name is and um, showing you my shopping haul from Petco and a few things from Amazon as well that we got and lots of highly rated things, some recommendations from different people or people on YouTube and podcasts that we've been listening to. All the research has been done about this new puppy. So we're really excited to show you guys. Here we go, let's see him. The most boring dog interaction ever because they don't care. <laughs> He's like literally just sitting there watching them. Don't fall asleep. Don't fall asleep. He might as well fall asleep. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up and play. Doesn't want to play. Here we go. No, 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 don't sit down. Don't fall over. If I sit up, but no. <laughs> You're such a lazy boy. Get up. Yeah. Trying to keep this dog awake is a struggle. I'm like, just nine o'clock. Nine o'clock is all we need, dude. Nine o'clock. <laughs> Wake up, pupper. <laughs> We're taking Haggis on his first outing. We're going to the park. It's a nice Sunday afternoon. We dropped daddy off at church because he has to go and um, do some stuff up there and we are going to take little haggis on a walk. And then we're gonna go down to one of our favorite shops called Dogology here on Main Street in our hometown and get him a nice little name tag now that we've decided on his name or I've decided on his name. Maybe right. can we get him a suit? So we, so we no. Can, like a tuxedo? He's like got tie, plenty of hair. Like a bow tie. <laughs> He's oh, done. we only need to get like a white tie. And that yeah. Thing. He's done great so far. Um, overnight, he woke up one time at about 2 a.m., which was basically the time I was planning on taking him out anyways. If he didn't wake up, I wasn't going to wake him up, though. And he just whined a little bit, and I took him out, and he went right back to sleep and slept until like 6... 6 30 a.m. when these rugrats woke him up and uh, he started crying and barking again so I took him out again and then he was up for the day and he's laid down a few times so I know later he'll crash it was harder for him to eat this morning I um, gave him his food but he didn't want to eat anything he did drink a lot of water so um, we have been just giving him his water instead of just having a free-for-all. That way we can make sure to potty train him correctly. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go just hang out in the park for a little bit and let him explore and get his sniffer on. Y'all ready? Yeah! Let's do this.
Well, as you can tell, we have been having so much fun with our new addition to the family, Haggis. He is such a fun little addition to the family and um, has been such a calm puppy. We thought that something was wrong with him, so we took him to the vet because he was so calm um, and he checked out just fine. We expected this really hyper crazy puppy and he has little bursts of energy like you can see right here, but um, mostly he just lays around and I'm not sure if this is a big dog thing. That's kind of what we've been told um, because they're growing so fast, but he just is so, so cute and calm and like a big teddy bear. So we're excited to see where this new big dog life takes us with this amazing little golden doodle puppy and if you'd like to see more of our new friend haggis just comment below like and subscribe to our channel for more of the adventures from the elrod family until next time see you soon